Components of an electrical circuit or electronic circuit can be connected in series. Before we study about voltage in series circuit, first of all we must know what is a series circuit. In a series circuit there is only one path to the flow of current. So the current in the first resistor will be the same of the current on the other two resistors. The current flows through each of the components is the same because there is no other path for the current flow. For example, if the current in the first resistor is 1 ampere, then the current in the other two resistor will also be the 1 ampere. The current flows through each of the components is the same because there is no other path for the current flow. This is the equation for the current in series circuit. IT is equal to I1, is equal to I2, is equal to I3. Here IT is the total circuit current. The voltage in the series circuit is the sum of the individual voltage drops across each component. This is the equation for voltage in series circuit. This equation is also known as Kirchhoff's voltage law. There is a series circuit with a 100 volt of power supply and three resistors of having a value of 2 kilo ohm, 5 kilo ohm, and 3 kilo ohm connected in series. Total voltage of the circuit is 100 volt. Total resistance of the circuit is R1 plus R2 plus R3 is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Total current of the circuit will be find out by using the Ohm's law. The current for the resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor 3 is 0.01 ampere. Total current of the circuit, IT is equal to 0.01 ampere. That is equal to I1, is equal to I2, is equal to I3. Because current in series circuit remains same for all loads. Here is the 100 volt available at resistor R1. Now we will find out how many voltage will be dropped by R1 resistor with the help of Ohm's law. For Ohm's law equation to find out V1 voltage, we take I1 current from above equation that is 0.01 ampere and the value of resistor from the circuit that is 2 kilo ohms. By multiplying 0.01 ampere with 2 kilo ohm resistor, we get 20 volt. So V1 is 20 volts. That is dropped by R1 resistor. Now 80 volts are available at resistor R2. We will find out how many voltage will be dropped by R2 resistor with the help of Ohm's law. For Ohm's law equation to find out V2 voltage, we take I1 current from above equation. That is 0.01 ampere. And the value of resistor R2 from the circuit, that is, 5 kilo ohms. By multiplying 0.01 ampere, with 5 kilo ohm resistor we get, 50 volt. So the V2 has, 50 volts.
Now 30 volts are available at resistor R3. We will find out how many voltage will be dropped by R3 resistor with the help of Ohm's law once again. For Ohm's law equation to find out voltage V3, we take I3 current from above equation. That is 0.01 ampere and the value of resistor R3 from the circuit that is 3 kilo ohms by multiplying 0.01 ampere with 3 kilo ohm resistor we get 30 volt so the v3 is 30 volts one thing that must be noted that Resistor with higher resistance value will drop more voltage. And resistor with lowest value will drop lowest voltage. Here is the equation of voltage for series circuit. By placing the all value of voltages in the voltage equation, we found that the total or applied voltage is equal to the sum of all the voltages dropped in the circuit. That was all about the voltage in a series circuit. If it was helpful for you, then like the video and share it.